everyone, my name's Elizabeth and I'm a freelance illustrator specialising in typography and hand-drawn illustration. If you want to find more about me, you can go to at Elizabeth's Artbook on Instagram or check out my website elizabethsartbook.com. Today I'm going to be working with you to use Adobe Illustrator. It's quick, easy and has an amazing variety of tools that are great to use to create amazing artwork. So make sure you keep watching to find out how to make a repeat pattern using vectored illustrations. Behind me you will see the after of what we're going to be creating together, but I will now take you to the before which includes assets that you will find below to join in and create along with me. So when you open up your Adobe file you'll see three artboards in front of you. The top one is where our final product's going to be but on the left is where we're going to make our pattern and then on the right is some pre-made vector illustrations that are going to combine together to create our final piece. The first thing we're going to do with our selection tool is select the peach on the right. We're going to go to edit at the top and copy and then we're going to edit again and we're just going to paste the peach. You'll now see that there's two of them and we're just going to drag the one on the left over to the artboard where we're going to create our pattern. We're now going to do the same with a few of the other fruits, combining them together to create something really unique and special. Now I want to create a bit of a background for our pattern, so these more simple shapes on the right is what we're going to use. We're just going to copy and paste them over, maybe play around with the scale a little bit and create something really unique. As you can see this is quite a large shape for this area so what we actually want to do is go over to this transparency part over here and where it says normal we just want to click the drop down box and change this to multiply. You can see this creates quite a lovely overlapping effect on the left hand side. After seeing this I also realised I wanted to bring the lemon forward a little bit more so we're just going to click on the lemon, right click and go down to arrange and then click bring to front. This will get rid of the overlapping but still keep it on the peach. I'm going to continue to do this with the other illustrations until I'm happy with a pattern that I then want to take forward to our final product. Now the great thing about Adobe is all the tools that it offers. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to add our own fruit and you can do this too. You could go bananas, grapefruits, anything. We're going to do an orange. You just want to select the ellipse tool on the left. As you'll see, I'm making a perfect circle. You can do this by holding down the shift button. And then just going to select this with selection tool and then using the eyedropper tool on the left hand side, I'm going to select the colour of the orange of the peach just to bring it all together in a cohesive way. Now that we've got our outline for our orange I'm going to take one of the leaves on the right hand side and just add that on to give it a little bit extra. In fact I'm going to use both. Again I'm just going to tilt this slightly and resize it to make it perfect how I would like it. Some final details, basically you want to use the eyedropper tool and select the brown colour that's in the peach, again bringing everything together. We're then going to go onto the brush tool on the left hand side to create some dots like there are on the lemons. Now that we've got our final pattern it's time to make the repeating part of it. And you want to go up to object, go down to pattern and then click make. So you can change the different types of pattern you want. I like to go by brick by row. This just staggers the pattern a little bit, makes it a little bit more different. You can also size tile to art, move tile with art, lots of different options for you to experiment with. There's also options to overlap your image if you have any parts of your section that might move over to the next bit. Again, you can change copies. And also one thing I like to do is to dim copies to 100% just to make sure it's all on the same level of vibrance. If at any point you want to move anything, you can move anything within the box and it will move all the others as a mirror image. Now all you want to do is click done and then you'll see here on the right hand side in your swatches panel, you will see the pattern is now an option. Now to get this up, you just get your rectangle tool on the left hand side, fill the artboard, maybe give yourself a little nice background colour. I'm going to go for a peachy one of course. 
and then you want to grab your rectangle tool one more time and this time you want to fill it with the swatch that has your pattern on it as you will see here and there you go there's your final pattern Thanks so much for watching and hopefully you've really enjoyed following along this tutorial on repeating patterns in Illustrator. We've been working with Adobe to create a bunch of downloadable assets and other tutorials for you guys to join in and create more at home. Make sure you check the side of this video to see the downloadable assets to get involved and any other tutorials you'd like to join in on. Thanks again for watching and have a lovely day. Bye!